welcome back to today's video. I don't really know. I was just having a little bit of a think this morning about how much my life has changed since going back to university. I'm about to go into the second half of my first semester and it blows my mind how quickly this has all happened and how time has kind of disappeared. And I was thinking about the bad habits that I've kind of broken and the good habits that I've gained. And then I just kind of wanted to make a video and inspire you to reflect upon the bad habits that you've broken or the good habits that you've implemented into your daily life and just take a moment of like self-reflection. So I guess that's what this video is kind of about. Plus I just kind of really wanted to talk about my favorite things right now and my favorite affordable, healthy university habits. So let's go get started. The first habit is actually a breakfast related habit. It's the first thing that I do in the morning and it's kind of an achievement for me. I have been having the same breakfast pretty much every day for two months, which is crazy because I don't even really like leftovers. I don't like eating the same foods again and again and again, but somehow I have managed to find a breakfast that I eat every single day and it's just so nice to have it already planned out in my head. I know exactly what I'm doing each morning. It makes me feel good. And I just wanted to share this breakfast with you. You've seen it probably a million times already in my videos but it is super healthy it is really easy to make and it's really affordable as well so let's go make breakfast So my favorite breakfast for the last two months has been having a half a cup of oats with some strawberries topped on top. And I just measure out the oats exactly as half a cup. I don't measure the water. I just put whatever in and then I add a little bit of milk to make it a bit more creamier. I could do it on the stove top, but honestly, I just cannot be bothered. So I just do it in the microwave. And then I do maybe, depending on the size of the strawberries, for this size, I'd probably do maybe five strawberries. And sometimes if I want it to be a little bit sweeter as well, I do put a little bit of sugar on and it is just the the best breakfast. I never ever thought that I'd be the type of person that would eat the same thing every day, but it's been pretty much a solid two months and I'm still going, which is very impressive. This is entirely the cheating way of doing oats. You could do it in a stove pot if you really wanted to, but the microwave with some water and then I put a little bit of milk in and I just mix it together and it makes it kind of a little more creamy. And uh, if you want more milk, you can add more milk depending on how creamy you want it. It's just the easy cheating way of doing oats. They're probably a lot better on the stove top, but you know, nobody has time in the morning to get out a pot and a pan and start making oats the proper way. So here's the easy, cheating way and then I just top it all with strawberries. And that's my breakfast. I know this is a little bit silly talking about my breakfast as like one of my favorite new habits, but I'm just so excited that I found a breakfast that I will actually eat every single day and knowing what I'm gonna do first thing in the morning has just made me feel like I have so much more of an organized routine and I just wanted to share that with you. Plus, this is such a great breakfast. It is super healthy, it is super filling, so it's a really great way to start fueling your body for the day and it's really affordable too. So for anyone out there that's like on a university student budget, you can get an entire bag of oats from Coles for like a dollar. I think it's a kilo bag for a dollar, which will last you weeks. And strawberries right now are in season and they're so cheap. However, if you're not into strawberries or they're still not like within your student budget, then maybe look at other fruits or other toppings like honey. Honey is a great one because a jar of honey will last so long, but it's such a healthy, easy, fast, affordable breakfast that I think is really good for uni students and anyone for that matter. So I just wanted to share with you something that's been making me really happy and I'm really excited about because I'm someone that just hates eating the same thing every day and now I found something that I will eat every day. So I'm gonna go eat my breakfast. My next favorite habit that I've picked up is actually waking up and getting out of bed early, like really, really early, like 6 a.m. early. On Mondays I have to because I start class at nine so I have to leave, but on Tuesdays and Wednesdays, I don't start until midday. But if I wake up at six, I will still have an entire six hours to do stuff and be productive. And particularly this week, I feel great about it. I've been up at five every day and it's been amazing. And I love it. My room faces east, so I get all of the sun in the morning. It just is my absolute happy place because it's just so warm and beautiful and the sun coming through me is so, so nice. And waking up early has just been amazing. So I get out of this place, I make my bed and I get on with my day really early and that has been making me feel so much better that way. In the afternoon, I can kind of chill out and relax because everything's usually always done by midday, which is awesome. I'm also still working on the whole organizing and redecorating my room and I moved my bedside table into this corner and I love it. I think it's so cute. I love the yellow and the gold 
old, it just, it makes me happy, this corner as well. Sometimes I feel like I sound crazy when I'm like, such and such just makes me feel happy, but honestly, I am all about the little things in life, and I have been for years, and it's the small things that I do every single day that make me the happiest, like having a great breakfast, or having a good morning routine, or having a cute little bedside table that when I come into my room and I look at it, it makes me feel good. The sun coming through my windows, or the sun in general, the sun's like my favorite thing that makes me happy all the time. I am just one of these people that really gets a whole lot of my life's joy out of the teeny things and that's why I just wanted to kind of make this video even though I don't know if there's much point to this but let's move on to the other thing that I've been doing the other habit that's been making me happy as well and the last habit that I have gained since going back to university that I think is probably the most helpful and most useful thing that you could add to your routine as a student is organizing everything when you get home. When you still have that momentum, it's before you sit down, before you get relaxed, before you kind of start to switch off, because once you start, you won't get back up and do these things. But it's just getting yourself organized and cleaning up after yourself for that day. Let's not leave these things on my floor. I need to take these up and put them away. I need to organize them and have everything sorted so that next week I will be back to where I started. You know, these need to be in the plastic sleeve. And on that too, I make sure I go through and I label everything from that day because if I didn't do it in class I do it as soon as I get home and then that way everything has a title it sometimes even has a date depending on what it is and then everything is super organized so this is my favorite thing to do is to just come home and get all of my files sorted so that I don't have to do it later on and then I don't have a mess especially for a test like I had where I needed this book and if everything was already done the day that I did it then I didn't have to stress too much and have too much work to do before the test so these are going in this plastic sleeve and this is going upstairs. This one kind of gets me a little bit because when I say out loud, unpack your bag when you get home, makes me feel like I'm my mom talking to me. When I hear the words, unpack your bag when you finish school, I just think of my mom telling me that when I was in high school. So uh, it's important to unpack your bag. I have this adorable little Zoella gray backpack that I got from Zoella's collection years and years and years and years ago. It's no longer available, sadly, but it is adorable. And I use this bag for so much more than just going to uni, I use it when Whenever I go and stay over at Dan's house, I take it on little like day adventures. I use it when I travel. So I like to have it empty at all times so that I can just use it whenever I need it. And then it's important to sort through and put all of my bits and pieces away. I don't take the same stationery every single day. So it's important that I separate everything. This diary stays down here in my room because I use it very often. I have my purse, my car keys. This can go to the bathroom, the jumper, and headphones can go into the electronic section. So I can put everything away. The stationery items can go up into my other room to be put away with the other things. And then, like I said, this stays down here. This goes into my little bowl in my cupboard of things that I use regularly. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Oh, and I can fold my jumper and put it away and then my bag goes in my cupboard and then everything's neat and organized for next time. I'm hoping this video was somewhat interesting or I don't really know, motivational maybe? I don't know. I just was thinking about all of these great habits that have been really helpful and that I've gained and that are making me happy and I just wanted to make a video about them. So I don't know if this video really has purpose or not, but here I am and I hope you enjoyed it. So up the top here, you can check out my last video down the bottom. I'll leave a link to another one of my videos and I'll see you guys in my next one.